What's good, YouTube? It's Mirror Boy Squid back in the next video. So apparently the 25th anniversary for Yu-Gi-Oh! is happening live now in Japan in the Tokyo Dome. And they're spoiling so many new things in terms of product and new things that are really, really awesome for the game. They actually just spoiled the new pack after Legacy of Destruction, which is called Infinite Forbidden. And as you can see on the cover art, Exodia is actually getting a retrain alongside a lot of older monsters, both from the original Yu-Gi-Oh! video games, as well as some of the earlier packs. But what was especially surprising is the fact that they're actually coming out with something called Yu-Gi-Oh! The Chronicles. So I don't know if this is like a full-fledged anime, but I watched a couple of seconds of it and it's actually amazing. So I want to watch it live with you guys and see what the heck is going on. Uh, guys, wow, this is really, really awesome. Check this out. It's on the official Yu-Gi-Oh! channel. But uh, yeah, let's dive in Yu-Gi-Oh! Card The Chronicles and see what's up. Um, this is going to be my first time watching as well. I only watched like the first couple of seconds before I realized it's an actual anime thing. So we have Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl. Really, really cool actually seeing them in action. And this animation actually looks sick. Like, it's actually really modernized. Like, red eyes, black dragon, as well as blue eyes. This is really, really cool. Okay, we're kind of just fluttering into the abyss here. I think this is where I got to. Oh, it's actually the back of Yu-Gi-Oh card. <laughs> That's actually really, really cool. Yu-Gi-Oh card game 25th quarter century. Okay. I don't know how long we're going to milk this for because uh, it feels like it's already been like half a year since it's been going on. Oh, Maiden with Eyes of Blue and Azure Eyes Spirit Dragon. Oh, uh, Silver Dragon. Yo, this is so cool. Oh, man. I don't know if this is going to be an actual anime or if it's just like a promotional fodder, but I would be so excited if there's an actual anime. Oh, the Spirit Charmers! Area, the Earth one, Wind. Oh, there they all are. What about the Dark? Oh, Dark. Mina. <laughs> They all have their familiars with them too. The third Ice Dragon, Trishula, the... Oh, this is when the dual terminal lore, guys. They unlock Trishula to help them fight the evil swarms after Brynak and Gungner. Holy smokes. I love how they're actually referencing some Yu-Gi-Oh card art because like in the original, uh, some of the cards... Oh, Melfi's! This looks exactly like in the card art. Oh, it's so adorable. Melfi Penny. Uh, Melfi, Melfi. <laughs> this is the one with like... 2,000 defense, I think. Oh, Zeus! Divine Arsenal double ace under... Oh, Zeus, oh my gosh, you just attached two materials to the board. Of course they use 3D, too. Oh, Typhon! This is literally like Gundam, guys. Holy smokes. Typhon versus Zeus. Damn, Zeus is going ham. Ooh, I love how 3D it is. It's like really like Gundam such Transformers. Oh, he's transforming. Damn, he's using the... Wait, you can't use the effect under Typhon. <laughs> oh, Gateway of the Six! Legendary Six Samurai, holy smokes. Damn, we're doing all archetypes from all years of Yu-Gi-Oh! That's sick. I wonder if we'll get to see, like, Axe Saber and some obscure ones. Ooh, um, that's a Kageki, right? Anishi, I think, versus Kizan? That's really sick, actually. I love Six Samurai. They were one of the most, uh, the first really power crept busted archetype in the game, to be honest. Just like being able to do de degenerate stuff. Sheehan. Oh, it's so accurate. It's got like the wings and everything. <laughs> the live twins? <laughs> I love how it's so, it's so, um, it's depicted just like the card artwork, like the, how it is on the TV and Oh, wow, it's like a magical, the magical girl, like the uh, <laughs> classic anime. <laughs> oh, these guys are superheroes. I think the IP Masquerina is actually in the same universe, right? If I'm not mistaken. Love the colors in this one, too. Oh, Fallen Valves. This is a big one. Dogmatica, the land of Dogmatica. Uh, Fallen Valves just landing, crash landing. And Dogmatica. Um, what's her name? Not Fleur de Lis, but uh, uh, I can't remember her name. <laughs> Help me, guys. <laughs> oh, this is just like the artwork from Branded. Uh, one of the spells that's really bad that's not really played. <laughs> that's so cool how they kind of land on it. Oh, the uh, quarter century guys. Magicians and oh, what, what is that dragon? Do we have that? It looks like uh, that. Oh, Exodia! 
The guardian god of the palace, Avisas, the glimmers through stars and frost. That would be cool to see Avisas. Ooh, Fire Kings versus the Lanteans. That would be sick. Daybell Star. <laughs> oh, we can see Poplar. Dragon Rulers? Ooh, that'd be so cool. Magistus, so like the Evoked as well. Sophocord, the Ensemble of Happiness. Sophocords is like one of the forgotten archetypes. Like there's a mat that was given out for the winner of the rivalry of the Warlord side events at YCS. I actually have that mat. Actually, I think these guys are getting new support, right? So maybe that's why. <laughs> really cute. They kind of remind me of the Madoches. Like a musical theme, I guess. I don't look like trick stars too. I wonder if they're in the same universe. Like it's, you can tell it's like almost like the same artist, the same designer. Thank you for playing Yu-Gi-Oh card game for 25 years. Damn, that was so cool. Holy smokes. I I'm really excited to see if this is like an actual thing or not. Oh, there's some more footage. <gasps> oh, Sky Strike Array. Damn, versus Rose. Wow, that's cool. It's like Goku versus Vegeta. Rose has a higher ground. <laughs> oh man, I so hope this is an actual like mini series that they do, like a web series or something, because this would be so awesome to actually see. Because they're doing the manga for the uh, Sky Striker, and they're also doing one for the Magistus. So it'd be so cool to see this live. Oh my gosh, this is so hype. This is the hypest I've ever been for Yu-Gi-Oh! anime. Like, this is what Yu-Gi-Oh! anime should be. Not the crappy Yu-Gi-Oh! like whatever the heck we have, Zexo, and like whatever the new stuff is, it just makes no sense. This is what they should do, actual anime based on the archetype. That'd be so cool. Guys, that was super, super cool. Let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think about this? And also let me know, is this an actual like animation thing that they're doing? Cause I see here Konami Animation. Uh, this is an actual website. So the Chronicles um, coming soon. And then we have like some rehash of the Yu-Gi-Oh! video that we just saw. So guys, I really hope that this is a thing. Uh, let me know your thoughts about this in the comments. Which archetype would you be most excited to see in an anime? Because uh, I have a couple for sure. I definitely want to see the Zeus one. But yeah, I just want to do a quick reaction. This is really, really hype, guys. I can't wait to wake up tomorrow and see like what the heck else comes out. But thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Let me know what you think about this.